prednisone half-life. What in the world is a half-life and why does it matter when you're taking prednisone? I'm Dr. Megan, the prednisone pharmacist, and I'm here to explain today what a prednisone half-life is and why you should care. So first of all, when you might be looking up the term prednisone half-life, what are you really wanting to know? What you really probably want to know is when am I going to feel better? When is it going to be out of my system? And that's the question we will answer through by the end of this video. So the short answer is the half-life of prednisone is two to three hours. But what does that even mean? So a half-life is how long it takes for half of something to be gone. So if an atomic bomb goes off, how long will it take for half of the radiation to disappear? And they do calculations like that to figure out all sorts of really fancy scientific things. But when it comes to a medicine, if you do a half-life, for example, you took prednisone 40 milligrams, you took two of these. If you took that at eight o'clock in the morning, it'll take two to three hours for half of it to be gone out of your system. So let's just round it up to three. There are a lot of factors that could be changing how well your body breaks it down, but we'll just round it up just for um, easy rounding sake. So if it's three hours and you took 40 milligrams, three hours after you take it, so from eight until 11, you'll be down to 20 milligrams. Three hours after that, from 11 until two, you'll be down to 10 milligrams still active in your system. From two until five, you'll be down to five milligrams. And we're getting smaller and smaller here, right? But how many half-lives matter? Well, when you're calculating, it's really only about five and a half half-lives that you need to count until you can say, it's pretty much close to zero. So you could say after about 18 hours, somewhere, give or take, your body is free of the active prednisone. So what difference does that make, right? Like, so I took it in the morning and 18 hours later it's gone. Well, it has a lot of things that it can affect. First of all, if you're taking the prednisone at 8 a.m. versus 8 p.m., that changes how much is active in your system during different times of day. For example, if you are taking it and it's causing side effects like insomnia, you would want to be taking it as early as you could, like five or six in the morning even, um, so that it could wear off completely by the time you need to fall asleep at night. And that can help you get more restful sleep. So that's the first thing it can affect is the side effects. But what about um, when else could you take it? So some doctors will prescribe prednisone to be taken every other day. So you'd take five milligrams on Monday, skip, take nothing on Tuesday, five milligrams on Wednesday. And that can be happening because of the half-life. It's, it's giving your body a day off to hopefully help your adrenal glands recover. They haven't really shown that it necessarily makes much of a difference, but it's a strategy your doctor can use to help you cope and hopefully recover from taking prednisone. Other things that can that are worth understanding is prednisone is a medium um, length of time drug. So it lasts the two to three hours, whereas um, methylprednisolone lasts less time and then dexamethasone lasts way more time. It lasts almost like a whole day is half-life. So it takes a long time for the dexamethasone to get out of your system. Whereas hydrocortisone is often used when people are trying to get off of prednisone and it's got a way shorter half-life. So it needs to be taken multiple times a day. You can usually reliably only have to take prednisone once a day, but hydrocortisone, since it only lasts a few hours, needs to be taken, for example, at, right before breakfast, at lunch, and at dinner, maybe. Or it might be four times a day. It really depends on when you need it, and you work that out with your doctor. 
So I promise the answer to the real question. If you're asking, well, what is prednisone's half-life? The real question I think you're asking is, when will it be out of my system? And the real question behind that is, when am I going to feel better? Right? There's so many side effects. So it's going to be out of your system in like a day, right? The, the drug itself. But the side effects aren't necessarily gone in a day. For example, let's pretend like prednisone is a tornado. A tornado might be a great way to get rid of a building. <laughs> if your disease is a building that you didn't want anymore, it would be a great way to do it. It just goes in and immediately that building is gone, right? But what about all the collateral damage? What about all the other buildings? Oh, and your landscaping and all of the people and their things that could have been affected. Those are the side effects. You didn't want to just take out one building. I mean, you probably only wanted to take out one building, but it took out a whole city or a whole street or a lot more. It had all of this damage. When the prednisone is out of your system, that's like the tornado passed through town. It's gone. The tornado is no longer there, but its consequences are. There's still all of that damage that isn't disappearing anytime soon. Somebody's got to build those buildings back up. Somebody has to plant those trees again. Somebody has to find all of the things that blew away in the storm. And so prednisone side effects do not instantly go away. Some of them might, like for example, the hunger. It might suddenly just instantly be gone. You might just suddenly have your normal appetite back when you stop taking it. But side effects like psychiatric ones, anxiety and mood changes might not go away very quickly. And why is this? Because this is the actual drug itself in your system when it's gone. But it changes things in your body, like the consequences to your brain, to your adrenal glands, to all over can be very long term. And for some people, it can take up to a year to really recover back to their formal adrenal sufficient self. And so if you are feeling terrible after taking prednisone, then you need to talk to your doctor. You need to say, hey, I don't feel so good. Like you took me off the prednisone, but I still need some help. Can you help me? And you should definitely talk to your doctor about it because you shouldn't feel awful after taking prednisone. You should be able to have the dose taken down slowly enough that you can recover. And so if you um, have any other real question, burning questions behind prednisone half-life, let me know below. I'd love to know what those are so I can answer them in um, either comments or in a future video. And if you need help recovering from prednisone, I have a prednisone checklist and I will link to that below that you can get. And it has ways to cope with prednisone while you're taking it and to help you recover after you've stopped taking it. Signing off as Dr. Megan, the prednisone pharmacist.